How do I manage my fibula free flap donor site after head and neck reconstruction? My name is Amit Kochar and I'm a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon at Pacific Neuroscience Institute, Pacific Head and Neck Institute in Santa Monica, California. The fibula free flap is commonly used to reconstruct bony defects of the jaw or of the mid face and cheek. In this case, we take um, a large piece of bone from the lower leg, known as the fibula, with skin and an artery and vein and sometimes muscle. And we use this to reconstruct larger complex defects of the head and neck. These cases typically take between 8 to 12 hours and the patients will stay in the ICU for monitoring for several days and then um, additional hospitalization for five days afterwards before going home. Following the skin graft, or following the removal of the fibula free flap, we have to close your leg. And we can close the superior portion or the part closest to the knee primarily with sutures and staples. However, the distal aspect or the part closest to the ankle is too tight to close primarily and we often need a skin graft to cover the muscle and expose tendons. The skin graft is taken either from the free flap itself or from your thigh and it's placed underneath the pressure dressing which will stay in for six days. You'll also be wearing a boot after surgery to help keep your foot in a flex position because your, uh, the wounds will need to heal and you want to make sure that you don't develop any side effects from scarring. After about a week, we will remove the dressings to evaluate the skin graft and as long as it's healed properly, we just place a Vaseline impregnated gauze over the skin graft and wrap your leg in a uh, soft gauze dressing or a ace wrap. And you continue to wear the boot for two or three months after surgery when you're walking. Physical therapy and occupational therapy will instruct you on how to manage the boot and how to properly ambulate. In terms of the free, free, uh, sorry, in terms of the skin graft management, as long as it's healed properly, you'll continue to wrap it and do daily dressing changes for about a month or so. If there's any signs of infection, such as redness, drainage, or pus coming out, you should call your doctor immediately, and we'll evaluate it and see if there's any part of the skin graft that isn't viable and needs to be removed. In the worst case scenario, if the skin graft fails and doesn't take, we may need to return to the operating room to do a second procedure. This is very rare, but it can happen, especially in patients who have other comorbid conditions such as peripheral vascular disease or diabetes, so we take great precautions when managing these patients. If you have any other questions about management of the skin free flap donor site from the fibula, please contact our medical assistants or myself directly. Thank you very much.